All right, Teresa. Yeah, a lot of backlash for this, but seems to be the only solution right now on the table. Teresa Sardina for us live downtown. Thank you so much. Well, the housing first philosophy embraced by the state has been under fire by a lot of local leaders who say it does not get to the root of the, po uh, the problem of homelessness. And here to comment is Vista Mayor John Franklin. And you and I were talking off camera. You saw off Teresa's report there and that gentleman on the street who was homeless talking about how 90% uh, of the people are, are addicted to drugs and alcohol. You're, you're, you recently had a press conference. Tell us your thoughts on the housing first philosophy. Yeah, and just to comment on what we just saw, uh, the gentleman who's homeless, his, his observations are 100% accurate. Narcotic drug abuse and severe mental illness are the predominant driver of homelessness. That's a debate. I can't believe it's a debate, but it's a debate. Right. Uh, we all know that the affordability crisis that we're suffering right now has impacted a lot of people. But the housing first policy is what we're here to talk about because really we, the, the biggest problem we have is the people that want help we're, we're able to help them, mm -hmm. but Housing First is a policy that was adopted by the state of California, by the legislature in 2016, and it says that not one dollar of state funds shall be made available for any housing or homelessness recovery program that requires sobriety or asks participants to participate in a drug addiction recovery program. Now, I believe that we need options for somebody who is an addict, who wants to put their life in order, and they've said, I want to recover, they should have a sober place to live. More important, and we received last week in Vista a report from our homeless outreach team, and they said we have 13 families that needed shelter in the last six months with five or more members. That means that on average they had three or four small children with one or two adults. Children who are homeless in our community are not afforded a sober living environment to be housed when they're suffering homelessness. That is unacceptable. And I want to tell you my biggest concern is the debate has been falsely shaped. It's, they've made it a false choice. They've said that by opposing housing first as a one-size-fits-all policy, that people like me that oppose the one-size-fits-all don't want to provide options to those who are suffering from addiction. That is absolutely false. Right. I believe that those who are suffering from addiction need housing and shelter options. And I will fight to make sure that those options are funded in addition to sober facilities for children for recovering addicts, for families. And right now, we have Solutions for Change, a great organization. Uh, we have Operation Hope. Both of them serve the needs of homeless families in the city of Vista. Both of them lost hundreds of thousands of dollars annually when this policy passed. Since it's been adopted, we've had a 30% increase in the state in homelessness. Mm -hmm. These policies, what you saw in the last report is we have misaligned all of our policies seemingly almost on purpose with Prop 47 that decriminalized what were so-called uh, so lesser crimes. Uh, it made the shoplifting number $950. We've seen a general uh, unwillingness to prosecute and to jail those who commit crimes like panhandling, uh, illegal camping. And let me tell you, this Martin v. Boise decision that was made in the Ninth Circuit Court, the one that says if you have shelter, then you can enforce and illegal camping laws are gonna be allowed to be enforced. That sounds great, and as a council member before I became mayor, when I heard that the courts had acted, I said we as a city need to be resp responsive, and we immediately acquired shelter, and I believe in our obligation to provide shelter for every person. But what happened was, I very f quickly found out, is you can send a police officer out with a social worker, and even if there's a place for them to go, we can't force them to use it. Right. We still can't force them to use it. And if we're not willing to enforce the laws, meaning jail people, you know, Rudy Giuliani sent a police officer and a social worker, and he said, you can go to jail or you can go to the shelter, but you can't stay here tonight. That's the solution that we need. It's an obvious, logical solution. Folks need to be forced to choose housing and safe shelter options. They shouldn't be allowed to live on the streets. So it's a really frustrating problem, yeah. but until we change our perspective, mm -hmm. until the citizens, the people of San Diego and California demand a different approach, it's going to continue to get worse. John Franklin, Mayor Visser, we appreciate you coming on. Yeah, Poway passed this. We'll see if San Diego City passes this. Seems like people are ready to get a little bit tougher on these solutions. Appreciate right. you coming on. Thank you. All right, Hunter.